Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and the big tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 11, 2022. If you like support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to support our channel over at Patreon. The link is down below. So this was an absolutely amazing day. So both for the S&P 500 and also for the NASDAQ, we basically broke towards... Um, towards a major support and then bounced. And uh, we kind of got the confirmation that this trend that we have been in since 2020 um, has is basically still intact. So even though we have had um, quite a big fall here, the S&P 500 fell more than 5% and then bounced today. We're still in the red, but this was a really nice bounce for the at 100 moving average and it's kind of confirmation that people were waiting to enter at this point and um, so um, the fact that we did not break below the 100 moving average doesn't really mean that we won't be testing it again but that there's so much interest at this level here and that is kind of a confirmation that we'll probably have people that are buying into this and uh, wanting to see this go even higher. If we manage to take out the previous uh, candlesticks here, roughly at 4,700, then it's very likely that we'll go towards 4,800 and then probably 5,000 in the very long run. This is not going to be like uh, go straight to the top right again. This will be really, really choppy as the day was extremely choppy it fell roughly two percent i thought it was going to drop like seven percent today but but uh, but all of a sudden it just turned around and uh, almost ended up in green so if you look at technical indicators we can see that the macd not the macd but the bullish band we hit the bottom of the bullish band and then bounced we're still underneath the middle of the bullish band we can see the macd it is uh, it is bearish at this point our RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is still in bearish territory, but it is turning around, and um, that is, is not a good sign yet, but if we can manage to get above this red line and crossing the signal line, then it's a very good uh, sign. If you just look at this trend, we have been here several times before. We have tested the 100 moving average several times. You can just see it here. It rallied roughly. 11% to the upside last time uh, in this, at this point. Here we tested it yet again and it rallied roughly 4% to the upside. So we may see this go back towards the very highs, which is roughly 5.4% at this current stage. So if you look at the NASDAQ. So this fell out of this cons consolidation zone and headed below the 150 moving average, uh, basically far below the 50 moving average, and then completely turned around and ended up back in this consolidation zone. So that is a very good uh, indication that we probably go back towards these previous highs. doesn't mean that we are going to break it towards even higher highs, but uh, that we may see this grind back up towards uh, 16,800, give or take. Uh, there was a lot of buying occurring at the end of uh, this session, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we managed to take out these two candlesticks tomorrow. And if we do, and that is a very good sign that we may go back to the very highs. If you look at the MACD, it is bearish in bearish territory. Um, RSI is very low for, for the NASDAQ. The CCI is very, is very bearish at this point, and the stochastic is in is still in bearish territory. We did go way past the bottom of the bullish band, and that is my one of my favorite indicators when uh, considering whether or not something is overstretched or sold. You can just see last time we went uh, basically here. Last time we went uh, past the bottom of the bullish band, we had this major, um, major uh, Christmas rally. Yet again here, major rally, and also here, this was a fantastic rally, roughly 15.7%. The same goes for here. So if we look at um, how this has been behaving in the past, you can know, see, see it here. This is also 20.7% 20 uh, 20 um, increase when we get past the bottom of the bullish band. And this really got past the bottom of the bullish band. So it is, it could be a very good indication that we are back going back to the very highs. But 
if you look at the, the cloud, for example, for the NASDAQ, we can see that we went below the cloud, but we just stayed there for um, a few hours and then we went back inside the cloud. It may see uh, be a, a bit choppy uh, building a base here in the next uh, few trading days. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw we saw that and then going back above the cloud, indicating that we are continuing in this upward trend that we have been in for quite some time. We have occasionally in these pullbacks of 12, 15, 10% uh, pullbacks. This was roughly 8.8% uh, pullback. So a fairly nice pullback. And um, all these pullbacks have basically been buying opportunities. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens here um, in the coming a few days it'd probably be very volatile but if you look at the major tech stocks tesla was doing very well amazon was in red facebook was in minus five i think uh, at one point but if you look at amazon it got really hammered and then it turned around back into uh, this uh, um, in, into this consolidation zone which we have been in for quite some time now it got uh, way past the bottom of the bullish band, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Amazon going back towards the previous highs here. If you look at Facebook, Facebook hit the major support yet again at the 300 moving average and then bounced. And uh, we have tested the 300 moving average three times now in the last uh, few, uh, few months. Um, December is here. We uh, tested it and it rallied roughly 14.5%. The same goes for here in, in October. It rallied yet again uh, roughly 13%. So um, expect a rally at least up towards uh, uh, 353, give or take. If you pass that, then the all-time highs are back are here at 383. Tesla did really well today, uh, today, and I don't think they are going to... If they break above the 50 moving average in these uh, previous candlesticks high here, then they are going to test... Uh, 1213 um, it is going to be a really stretch for uh, tesla in this market so um, it has gone parabolical and uh, i wouldn't be surprised if we just traded sideways for the foreseeable future microsoft also a major um, um, a major uh, buying opportunity here uh, hitting the 150 moving average and bouncing from that this is a stock that is always reliable you can see every time it had hit the 150 it has rallied and also the 100 moving average so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens basically in microsoft stock technical indicators are all bearish at this point because it has been falling off a cliff it fell roughly 11.2 percent and uh, yes that is always a nice buying opportunity for 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 microsoft so this is Netflix, and Netflix is down from its highs at 25%. So most of these major uh, tech stocks have have fallen quite substantially, more than the uh, average um, uh, Nasdaq. And therefore, it is, uh, it is very likely that they will start to turn around because they're so significantly oversold and overstretched. You can see that the RSI is at 22 here in the, uh, in, the uh, in the daily and so and also we are significantly outside of the bottom of the bullish band so it's just a matter of time before we see a rally up towards the 50 moving average at least if you look at apple apple also found support here at the 40 exponential and then rallied it was also the bottom of the bullish band technically otherwise are still uh, bearish but this is a very good indication if you manage to take out this 175 then we are most likely going to go back towards the all time highs and test that and now this is probably the best one that is it is google it is not often that you see alphabet test the 200 moving average but we did see it today and it just absolutely exploded to the upside all technical indicators are turning around here and that is a good sign we were way past the bottom of the bullish band so uh, towards the middle of the bullish band that is should be expected roughly at uh, 2885 so this was definitely uh, my best uh, uh, buy of the day we can see the last time we tested a 200 moving average down here in uh, this was september in 2020 and since after that it rallied roughly 118 um, percent to the upside and not gonna say don't think it's gonna do that at this point but this, uh, but the very highs here 
that is kind of to be expected. So, hope you find this helpful. You all support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos. It is uh, really rough out there, um, or has been the last nine days, and uh, there's a really high volatility. So, take care and watch out. Good luck and thank you very much.